everyone, I am Little Dork, and today we'll be fixing the wonderful CRF because I dropped it, so I get to fix it. Yay! Today we'll be fixing the CRF 250L. Why are we fixing it? Because um, I had a little oopsie and I punctured the oil filter cap. So we're going to be replacing that, the filter, and the, what's the rubber thing separating the thing and the thing? Gasket. Gasket. And also... And refilling the oil. And also the oil, yep. Here, I'll give you a look at what we're talking about. I'll give you a look at this damage. My damage. So this is the damage. As you can see, the, uh, the brake lever, brake pedal, uh, punctured this oil filter cover, and it was immediately leaking oil all over the place. You probably saw that in the video. So we are going to replace the oil filter cover. I got a new one. We're gonna do an oil, new oil filter and gaskets while we're in there and fill it back up with oil because we already drained the old oil. But Lil's gonna do the work. What tools do you need, Lil? Okay, um, so of course, obviously, I need the cap, the gasket, and the filter, and I guess some oil. I guess that'll help it run, maybe. I don't know. And then we need a socket wrench, and so we got the oil filter. Then we got the gasket, Honda, so cool. And then we got the oil filter cap, the new and shiny one that's not dusty. OEM, baby. Yeah. So some of you may have seen the video, but why don't you, while you're taking that apart, Lil, tell us what happened, how to get broken. Uh, we went out for a day Sorry. to go work on my clutch control and like moving the clutch more instead of just going with the throttle up and down. Feathering the clutch. Feathering. Yeah. So, we went out and did that, and I was doing pretty good. I was getting better and better as the day went on. And then, I went to go do some circles on this little bit of rocky area. And I did a couple circles, and then I did one. And I was going slow, because, you know, that's what you do when you feather the clutch. And so, I was going slow, and I hit this rock. It literally, it wasn't even a big rock. Like, it was probably the set, as tall as my shoe. And, um... I just was going too slow, and my instincts were like, mm, we'll just stay going slow, and I went too slow, and I tipped over, and then actually our friend Duck Fan was there too. We pick it up, and it's like it's leaking something, we look down, and there's this giant gash in, in the thing, and he says, okay, are you going to push it back? And I'm like, no, and I start crying <laughs> because I was really worried that I like permanently broke it or something. So we load it back up in Duck Fan's trailer. So it doesn't like, so we don't get like oil everywhere and it's just easier because we usually have to start the bike to get it in the bed of the truck and we take it home and then when we get home we don't want oil dripping everywhere because it already dripped everywhere on Duck Fan's trailer. So I wipe that down and then we drain the oil, put it in some cans and it was, we just changed it like two months ago too so like it was still like brand new stuff. Yeah, and so then we do that, and it's been sitting here for like, how long do you say? Woo! A couple weeks. A couple weeks. And now we decided to fix it, and we might as well make a video out of it. So. Basically, she was practicing slow speed shenanigans, got stuck on a big rock, and panicked and dropped it, and it fell on that brake lever, which punctured the side. So we're lucky that it only broke the oil filter cover. That was an inexpensive replacement part. Another one. Mm. Anger issues. Just kidding. Oh, oil everywhere! I wondered about that. We didn't get it all the way drained. Sus. <laughs> so sus. <laughs> sus. 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 So much sus. I don't know where it's gonna draw, drip down. Yeah, 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 I'll take these. Right, but to bring that up sideways. What? Slide it to the right. So it won't come straight out without taking the brake pedal off. And be careful because the spring, yeah, probably could have reused that filter, but I didn't want to risk it, so we got a new one. Catch this. The gasket looks fine. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Weird. Called Breaking Things and Fixing Them. So we got a new one of these just in case it got pinched or otherwise broken in the drop, but I think it's okay, so I might save my replacement for another for a rainy day. Oh my god, oh, look at the inside of that. Show them. Oh yeah, see? <laughs> she 
She's cracked, all right. She did a number on that. Damn, that's impressive. You see why oil was spewing out? Yeah. That's some serious damage. You should keep this. It's your first, like... Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It's your first trophy, your first really broken motorcycle. I haven't even really... I've never done this much yeah, damage you, to anything you've yet. you've never... Except almost a person. I mean, I burn up my clutch, which... But that's just internal, so it's not as fun. Yeah, you don't need to repair it. The gasket goes in, but... See how there's no hole on the outside? Oh, yeah. So the oil has to go into that, and it can't if you put it in the other way. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then you're... Yeah. That's where it gets a little tricky. Your spring, put it in here. Oh, that's not how that goes in there. That, that's how that goes. That in. holds it on, but you gotta put the gasket on too. You need a lot of hands. This has never been this hard before. Why is this so difficult? Sure you, and you got that on the right place. Okay. I'll have to stick my finger inside. That, I think. Hold on. Let me just make sure because this is not something to mess around with. You push. Did you do it? Ow, yeah, I don't think you got that time. Get a couple bolts started. The wrong way. No, it's not. This is. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll give it the final, the final twist for you if you'd like. Yeah. Stronger. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now we gotta put the oil in. 1.8 wow. quarts. 1.8 quarts. So this one goes in all? Yep. We're gonna do 1.8 quarts. Because you are famous. I'm so famous. The famous CRF fixer. Yep. Give me your CRF and I'll fix it for you. You're also the famous CRF breaker, so. Yeah. I'm also the famous. Finger smasher. Finger smasher. I've smashed my finger like five times this summer and it's always my pinky. I'm gonna get a picture of you up next to the fixed part holding the broken one for Insta. Make sure it's in neutral. Yeah. Okay. So there you are. See how much cleaner it is than the rest of the bike? But. Good as new. In fact, better as new on the back side. That's not bad. How do you feel right now? Good. I'm glad that I got to fix it, and I like fixing things. I like doing things with my hands. And I'm glad that it's better now. So how does it feel to know that you broke it, but you were able to fix it yourself? Good, because like I said, I like to do things myself, and I like to know that I can do things myself. So when like I don't live with my parents, I can fix things. So are you excited to get back on the bike? Yeah, I'm excited to try it again. I'm proud of you for fixing it. It was an accident. I'm glad it was an easy fix. It was not that expensive, all told. Between the oil change stuff and the part, we spent less than $50. So, could have been a hell of a lot worse. And I'm going to go take it around the block and just make sure everything's ship shape. So, thank you guys for watching. And watching me actually fix something for once, because all you see me is ride and drop it. But, to know that I can do things, that's fun. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe I might be in some more videos. And you guys tell me in the comments if I should start my own YouTube channel with videos of me making things. Not making things, but doing things to do with these things. But don't forget to be excellent to each other. See you later. I'll take it. Excellent! Yay! What are we doing, little dork? <gasps> We're buying a motorcycle! It's new bike day! <laughs> new bike day! New bike day! What are we getting, little dork? We're getting a baby Durs. A what? A baby Durs. What's a baby Durs? Um, we're getting a DRZ 125 for me. How do you feel? Um, I feel good. I'm excited. I'm excited to get something new. Hey, little dork. Yeah. What's this? My new bike. Why did we get you a DRZ 125? The 250L was just a little bit too like too much, and we found this one at a good price, and it was. It's the right size. I can get both my feet down. And it just mostly just for confidence boost. And are you excited? Yeah. So how does it fit? It looks like it fits good. You got your feet down. How's the weight? Good. Good? Are you excited? Mm-hmm. What are we going to do on this? Go ride everywhere. What's its name? 
I don't know. I haven't thought of a name yet. We'll work on it. Get any names, suggestions, let us know in the comments. Yeah.